Okay then YouTubers, I'm uh, going to make some pizzas on the Weber, so I've got my little only fire attachment, so I've put that on top, but I've done something special, well there are two things actually here, physics wise, so what I've done, you can see hopefully, you've got two pizza stones, that gives me a bigger thermal mass, so once this has got hot, it's more likely to stay hot, which is good. The other thing that I've done, you can see that on my barbecue, I've used an old grill, which I don't really use for good anymore. And what I did is I cut through three of the spokes here and here. And then you can see I've just bent them across. I don't need to really, but I just thought a bit of extra strength right here on this side, just to the stone. And then I've built my fire up on the side there. Now you'll see why I've done that. I'm gonna put the lid back on. Quite exciting. So there's my lid. Let's get it the right way around. Right, so lid on. Now, if I come back a little bit, you'll see that I've got the holes this side. So the reason that holes are that side is so that the hot air will be drawn. So if you think it's going to come from the bottom all the way up here, around, across the stone and up. Now, the clever part is, if you see, the way I've configured it with the opening here and the stone slightly to the side, is when I've got a piece of wood like that, all I've got to do is push the piece of wood through and it will just fall into the hole and it's going to refuel. So you've kind of got automatic refueling without any messing about at all. So there we go. Convection, which is really cool. So it goes from the bottom and up and round and across the pizza and up. So that's going to cook the top and the bottom is going to cook on the bigger thermal mass. So we've got some conduction here. Um, in the pizza stone itself. So we've got conduction, convection, and of course there'll be a bit of radiation, and uh, I've got my custom thermometer that I put in, which wasn't original, um, but only cost a few quid. So a couple of modifications, aren't there, to the normal setup, and we should get a better pizza from it. So, there we go. Okay, now there's something else I'm gonna be trying. In addition to the double stone and my little space here for wood, I'm trying a new little idea of a 25 millimeter ceramic blanket. Now the ceramic blanket will actually withstand temperatures up to about 1300 degrees. It's from a furnace, like a kiln. You can get it on eBay, 25 quid a sheet or, or Amazon. So you can see, look, what I've done. So I've put a bit of wire to go round to hold it on. It doesn't go quite round because it's not, it's not meant for something round. So you've got a bit of a space at the back. But I've got it obviously, goes over the handle. I've cut a hole on my vent. I can just the vent and I've got my handle. And then the clever bit is, is that if I need to, I can hold the handle here and here and lift everything off all in one go. So there we go. What I want to see is, is will it mean that my temperature will go right up so i have got it up to like 400 degrees or whatever before now it's not so much about getting the temperature high enough i can get the temperature high enough i can get plenty of fuel in here really good heat does one pizza heat starts to die down and conduction convection currents and all the rest of it lose a lot of the energy so what i'm thinking is heat rises and i'm thinking if i have this blanket over the top it's going to insulate it just that little bit better which will help me get more out of my fuel so it's a bit of a wacky science experiment but we're going to see what happens to my pieces and see if we can make it work okay so we're starting the pizzas i've got my dough um going so we've got the kitchen aid i've got a kilo of white flour um, we've got uh, 20 grams salt 700 ml of water and 20 grams yeast. I dropped in the salt um, right near the end and the rapeseed oil that I've put in, the huge olive oil rapeseed. So that will give it a nice stretch. I'm going to give it about a 10 minute knead and then we'll leave it to rest and then I'll boil it up. So there you go. So that's my dough. Very straightforward. I've on purpose not put any sugar in to activate the yeast because that sugar can burn. If the pizza is going to be very hot, I'm going to try and get it really hot. There we go. Okay then people, so I've got the barbecue going. It's been going about 25 minutes. So you can see down below, you've got the fire and uh, you can see my thermometer. Wow, we're, we've gone beyond 400. So we're red hot. I'm hoping my stone's pretty much there. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna get going with some pizzas. But I literally, I'm sort of, you can see I'm sort of way far, about a meter away. The heat's quite incredible actually. But um, interestingly, if I go around this side, 
like here, I can stand right really close. Really close, there's virtually no heat. Heat coming out the back again, but out the top here, I'm putting my hand, that's absolutely perfect. So definitely, that blanket really does its job. So we'll get going with the pizza. Okay, so here's one cooking. It's been a minute and a half, so 90 seconds. Look, you can see the underneath's looking good. Just gonna pull it out. Um, we just need to get that top a bit better cooked. We're just gonna hold it up a little bit. Um, but it's it, we're doing really well. I'm really impressed. So the blanket definitely works. You can see the pizza's cooking like really quick. And the cheese is cooking nicely. I've got lovely bubbling. Um, so the blanket, it works. It definitely works. The pizza oven's dropped off a bit now. I'm at sort of 350. I'm going to put another piece of wood on in a minute. And uh, we're good to go. So I think I can recommend the blanket for 25 quid. Works well. Give it a go. Um, it just helps you even it out a bit. Because normally this, this temperature gauge drops off a lot faster. And so I'm keeping the heat in a little bit better. So there we go. I'm going to get this little guy out. Okay, so this pizza had three minutes actually. My oven's cooled a little bit, but it's so much more controllable with the lid. And you can see that crust is, oh, it's just, oh, nice. Dough is fluffy. And this one, I've not put any mozzarella on. Just done a pecorino and parmesan, but I think that's really nice. So it definitely works. I'm very chuffed with results. Okay then people, so now I'm just doing flatbreads just to see. And it's had like literally 20 seconds. I'm going to turn it over in a minute, I think. But um, it shows how flexible it is. We're at 350 degrees at the moment. But you can see, look at that bubbling. It's amazing. So very versatile little device. And it's just a little blanket that's helping keep that temperature. And then I'm adding in bits of wood as I go. Very simple.